something else that needed to have some attention given to it is the front part of the engine and in this case this is the water pump timing cover and oil pump assembly this particular unit came off of a rover I'm not sure of the vintage but I would say it's an early rover uh, but uh, that said, the BOP engines, uh, all the Buick Oldsmobile Pontiac 215 engines and the early Rovers, pretty much all the parts were interchangeable. And in this case, certainly the front, ti the front timing cover was interchangeable uh, with all those engines. Rover 3.5 liter V8, which I'm removing from the car, I had a Buick V6 timing cover, which worked just fine. The only difference was that the... Um, where the, there are two bolts for this timing cover which uh, snug the oil pan up to the bottom of the timing cover. On the Buick V6 there's a triangular uh, flange that's molded in and it's got three bolts and you have to modify the holes in the oil pan cover. Uh, when I bought the uh, engine that I'm redoing now it came with this timing cover and I was quite happy to see it because these are really hard to find. But let's talk about what is special here. One of the things is that the uh, the water pump has got a short nose on it, which uh, allowed me about an inch and a, a half extra space at the front of the engine. And because there's so little space up there, uh, owing to the fact that the engine is overall just bigger uh, and a bit longer than the stock MGB engine, and we had to move the radiator forward uh, quite a bit, uh, there still wasn't a whole lot of move, um, a room uh, because I was going to mount a puller fan. Since the radiators move forward, there's not really any room to put any puller or push, any pusher fans in front of the radiator uh, other than the stock pusher fans for the MGB and I don't know that they were all that efficient. So, uh, and they're not that cool looking anyway. So the other, the third element here, uh, and it's a, actually a third and fourth element, this is a stock uh, oil pump. However, uh, there's a spacer on here which is about a quarter inch deep which allows for the oil pump gears uh, are a quarter inch longer than the stock oil pump gears and oil pressure was a constant uh, issue for the BOP engines and the early rover engines. And the other, uh, other thing here is that this has got the Buick metric adapter on the bottom so this particular adapter which was made by D&D &D, as was the oil pump uh, uh, adapter uh, allows for some swiveling movement and that's critical because the oil filter hanging down off of this has to go in between the steering rack and the anti-sway bar and even if you're running the stock anti-sway bar there's not much room for this oil filter to go in. This particular adapter was not that expensive and, and, and I think it works great. Uh, it worked great on the car when it was uh, running and um, I think it'll work great when I get this new engine in. So that's the front timing cover with the water pump, uh, the oil pump with the high volume, high pressure oil pump adapter and the metric uh, adapter al along with the D&D swivel oil filter adapter. So there you have it. As long as we're rebuilding this motor, why don't we talk about other things that could go wrong and may need some attention. One of the things that I found that needed attention is the harmonic balancer. I took off the, dry, the pulleys off of the uh, main part of the harmonic balancer and to, so I could look at the uh, vulcanization of the area which holds the outer ring, the outer pulley ring onto the hub. And what I have seen are some areas which show that this is devulcanizing. Uh, this may last another 30,000 miles. I don't know. It's just that it would be a crapshoot, I guess. But why take the chance? This pulley in its stripped down state is going to go to Dale Manufacturing in Oregon and he will revulcanize this, revulcanize the outer ring onto the hub with some new high temperature rubber and uh, hopefully that will last the rest of the lifetime of your car. Considering that this is probably uh, a pulley which was built somewhere between 1961 and 1969, uh, what is that? That's a long time. That's over 40 years. Um, and granted, it probably wasn't running all that particular period of time. Uh, that's that's good insurance, you know, uh, to get this done and know that maybe your car would run for that long a time without having an issue. At any rate, uh, he guarantees his work uh, for the lifetime of the vehicle. Uh, you can't beat that, and it's 15 bucks round trip in the USPS uh, flat rate boxes. So there you go. Get your pulley rebuilt. Get it revulcanized, and have the peace of mind that your car is not going to blow up because this blew up. Cheerio.